your place of work, good news this week. I say it again, in your place of work, good news this week. In your business, enjoy good news this week. Whatever you're waiting for, it arrives speedily. In the name of Jesus. Lift your hands to receive the blessing. I pray for you. In the name that is above all names, doors open. Amen. Koinonia receive it, doors open. Amen. Every nation that has rejected you, not after this service, I decree and declare, let the gates be open for you. I say it again, every nation that has rejected you, not after this service, in the name of Jesus, let the gates be open for you. Whatever has made it difficult for you to meet your helper, by prophecy, I shorten the distance between you and your helper. By prophecy, I shorten the distance between you and your helper. I shorten the distance between you and your helper. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare, everyone who forgot you, may they remember you tonight. Not tomorrow, may they remember you tonight. May they remember you for good. May they remember you for kindness. May they remember you for promotion. May they remember you for lifting. May they remember you for help. May they be instruments of restoration. In the name of Jesus. Anyone who has said, where is your God? May this week be their answer. From Monday to Sunday, let there be testimonies that show where your God is. In the name of Jesus. And any covenant with hell, with the grave, with the spirit of death, we sever that covenant now. Amen. Let me pray for a man of God who is in ministry. May your hands be strengthened. Amen. That this remaining part of the year, you will wax valiant. Amen. You will do ministry with power. Amen. You will bring great glory to the name of the Lord. Amen. Let me pray for a family here. In spite of what may be happening around the nation, I pray for you. May a mark of exemption land on your head. A mark of exemption, let it rest on your head. In the name of Jesus. If you must travel, no accidents. If you are in the air, no plane crash. I decree and declare, if you must travel, let the angels go before you, clearing out wicked men from the road. In the name of Jesus, I pray for your children. You will not hear bad news. You will not hear they've joined occult groups. You will not hear they are destroying the destiny of others. In the name of Jesus, your portion in this Abuja, let it be delivered to you. Your portion in Nigeria, let it be delivered to you. Your portion across the globe, let it be delivered to you. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy no more delay. No more delay for your job. No more delay for your papers. No more delay for your children. No more delay. Let me pray over your spiritual life. Fresh fire on your prayer altar. Shout amen. Fresh fire on your prayer altar. You are loving Jesus with all your heart, serving Jesus with all your heart. I declare the grace for the study of the word. Let it rest upon you. I separate you from wicked people. I separate you from evil people. In the name of Jesus, you will not beg for food to eat. Let strangers be sent by God to help you. In the name of Jesus, in your place of work, good news this week. Lord, may we never forget. May the nation see that you are the lifter, the blesser, the anointer, the one who prospers. May the mundane things in this life never get into us to turn our hearts and our minds away from you. May we be ever conscious. And now I pray for everyone here under the sound of my voice. I pray for our global family. I pray for you who is a man of God who has been trusting God for lifting. I pray for you who is a businessman who is at a defining moment. You've been praying for lifting. I pray for politicians, members of parliament, those in government, those in ministry, 
those trusting God to lift even financially there is grace I have seen this grace work I have seen it work wonders and therefore in the name of Jesus Christ as instructed by God I stretch my hands over everyone here the grace that lifts the grace that exalts even through humility may that grace rest upon you now may that grace rest upon you now hear me for some of you this is the beginning of the fulfillment of prophecy all the things you saw in your dreams God was waiting for you to hear this sermon before the angels are activated because where God is taking you you need this message to remain therefore I declare now that you have heard it I call upon my God and your God father in a fearful way begin to lift people from tonight spiritual liftings financial liftings intellectual liftings ministerial liftings in the name of Jesus Christ access to systems access to the hearts of kings may that grace come upon you now never will you call for help and be left alone again in the name of Jesus Christ hear me anyone who is due for promotion of all sorts and has been kept by reason of any in the name that is above all names may this grace come upon you and lift you to a sign and a wonder those in ministry co-laborers in the gospel I stand in agreement with you that in the name of Jesus everything that has taunted the growth of your churches your ministries your ministerial platforms by the power that raised Christ from the dead receive this grace and rise some of us have been at the same level for a long time you've not gone down but you've not gone up either I pray for you by this grace ye have encompassed this mountain long enough rise up now in the name of Jesus hear me any spirit that has taken advantage of pride in your life to keep you down help that gentleman any spirit that has cooperated with your ignorance in this area some of you may have been arrogant based on this psychological thing it's just your passion to prove a point your passion to be known and to be celebrated any spirit that has taken advantage of you by the blood of the eternal covenant I cast those spirits out of your life out of your destiny out of your destiny in the name of Jesus Christ therefore I declare over your life no more stagnation age-long doors that have refused to open in the name of Jesus we swing them open now hear me whatever has stunted your office your business the works of your hands every manifestation of pride that has come through you directly or indirectly or has come from your children and even those you are raising spiritually or otherwise I pray may the mercy of God speak for you grace to walk in true humility receive that grace grace to acknowledge Jesus as the source and the only source of your rising may that grace be released upon you hear me any association in your life that seeks to distract you from acknowledging Jesus and anything that is planted in your heart that makes you ashamed of letting the nations know that he is the lifter I command it out of your heart now but thou shall remember the Lord thy God but thou shall remember the Lord thy God but thou shall remember the one who lifted the one who blessed that grace comes upon you now 
hear me some of you it will not reach the next one week you will return back with strange testimonies of God's opening I say this to you by the God of heaven some of you before next Sunday you will stand here to share here some testimonies of the lifting power of humility by this grace doors that were once open and are now closed may they be reopened again in the name of Jesus please wave your hands and give him praise thank you father let the name of the Lord be glorified wave your hands give him praise in the name of Jesus Christ in truth there are families where no matter how diligent you are no matter how hard-working you are it looks like there is a demonic embargo you see people travel abroad and return back after 10 years in shame they study to PhD some of them even become professors yet they cannot feed their families why because there are horns that have lifted up themselves against Judah and against Jerusalem now I want to pray by the power that resides in the Christ I decree and declare please bring them out very quickly everyone here under the sound of my voice in the main auditorium inside and outside whose life and family is under the yoke of this wicked spirit that will not allow you rise at the count of three you're going to shout the name Jesus and at the shout of that name that fire will fall from heaven and set ablaze everything that is antichrist are you ready now thank you father one two three shout jesus i command every ghost every altar by the power of the holy ghost in the name of jesus every family that will not be allowed to rise we bring judgment against those forces in the name of jesus bring them out by the power that raised christ from the dead be judged now be judged now be judged now wherefore god had so highly exalted him and given him a name that is above every other name that at the mention of the name of jesus every knee should bow and every tongue should confess that Jesus is Lord. Bring them out, please. I'm still praying. Son of man, what seest thou? And he said, four horns. These are the horns that have lifted up themselves against Judah, against Jerusalem, so that no one doth lift up his head. He said, but I have sent four carpenters. I am still praying. every family here that is a victim of the covenant of ancestry covenants of ancestry your fathers worship idols your fathers worship all kinds of things and now the children are victims of this by the blood of the eternal covenant you're still going to shout Jesus let there be liberty right now at the count of three one two three shout Jesus be free now be free now from yokes, foundations ordinances wicked orchestrations of darkness let them go now let them go now the Bible declares he who the Son sets free is free indeed bring them out most of the challenges you see that believers go through aside from the issues that relate to ignorance and lack of accurate spiritual understanding most of the challenges are tied and connected to orchestrations of demons
I'm still praying. Ah. The Lord is opening my eyes again. And like he always shows me, I'm seeing Kogi state. Kogi state. I'm seeing fire falling on people right now. Kogi state. Every orchestration planted that is tying men down in the name of Jesus Christ. Help them please. I bring you liberty right now. I bring you liberty right now. By the power of the Holy Spirit. I bring you liberty right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want to pray a prayer of release. God is opening my eyes and I'm seeing the hands of people tied. When your hands are tied spiritually, no matter what you do physically, believe me, it will not work. You will do the best that you know to do. But I'm about to pray. Those chains will be broken right now. Father, every hand that is tied in the realm of the spirit, affecting their productivity, their capacity to make structural progress at, in the name of Jesus Christ. Kapato Katebata. My God, I'm seeing fire falling at the count of three. One, two, three. Let that fire fall now. Fall now in the name of Jesus Christ. Is there someone with the name Monica? Monica. I'm hearing the name Monica. Monica. Don't just stand up and go. There is a reason why I ask that they bring them out. I'm about to pray for them. Monica. I'm hearing the name Monica. I don't know if that is your name. These are the manifestation of the gifts of the Spirit. Monica. I'm also hearing the name Adams. Who is Adams? Adams. Oppression must come to an end right now. Adams. I'm hearing a name Adams. Who is Monica? Please verify that that is their name. You are Monica. I want to pray for you. The power of God is coming on a woman right now. You get pregnant, but it never crosses three months. The moment is past three months, you will have a dream in the night. And the moment you have that dream, you will lose that pregnancy. Right now, the power of God is coming upon that woman right now. I decree and declare, wherever she is, wherever she is, I break that hold now. I break that hold. Monica, let me pray for you. Please, I want you to hold two people who will now begin to run by the anointing and come out. Because I'm looking and I'm seeing a serpent. This I'm seeing like a snake. This is what I'm seeing. I'm not saying they are snakes. But this is just what God is showing me. In the name of Jesus, hold them and bring them out. Let me pray for you. My goodness, Monica, two of you, there is, there is fire that is falling on you now. I just saw a strong anointing. I'm praying for all of you, but this tie of witchcraft over your life, it must go right now. I stretch my hands. Father, according to your word, in the name of Jesus, help them please. I command that oppression. Go now, out of them now, in the name of Jesus Christ out of them now release their lives and release their destinies hallelujah the lord is showing me a gentleman you work with civil defense civil defense this is what i'm seeing 
you are a gentleman you work with civil defense i'm not giving your name but the lord is saying you work with civil defense if there is such a person please let me pray for you very quickly because we are still going to minister deliverance adams let me pray for you In the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands towards you, Adams. The power of God is coming on one of you. The Lord is saying you are ending a season and beginning a new one. I decree and declare right now, may that anointing come upon you. I shift you to help them. In the name of Jesus Christ, please take care. In the name that is above all names, I decree and declare right now, let there be liberty for you by the power that raised Christ from the dead. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Where do you work, my friend? Civil defense. What's your name? Paul. How long have you been there? Ten years. Ten years. Joined 2000 2012. Have you gone abroad? Yes. Do you know why I'm saying that? I'm not a prophet of doom. But I'm seeing you inside a plane. And I'm seeing God taking you out of this country. This is what I'm seeing. This is, this is like, I don't know if it's that you and your family are moving, but God is just telling you to prepare because your days, they are numbered. God is shifting you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, let it be for you even as he has spoken. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, let it be for you as he has spoken. For all those who are out here under the anointing, I command the spirits and the devils oppressing them and their families. I speak as one sent and I come by the rod of a higher priesthood. I declare, leave their destinies and their families now. Go, go, go out of their lives. In the name of Jesus Christ. Out of their destinies. In the name of Jesus Christ. Release them and everything you have taken from their lives and their destinies. Let there be a sevenfold restoration now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now I want to pray. There are families where people rise and they get to a particular point. And just when they are about to climax in their pursuit and their career, something must happen to them and bring them down in shame. There are many people like that. And there are many families like that. Diligent people. They get to the zenith of their pursuit and then something brings them down. I want to pray over those people right now. And the power of God is going to come upon them. I'd like for your heart to be open and I want you to receive it as a prayer. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Every family under this kind of yoke that rises to get to a particular point and just when you are the apex, the climax, the zenith of your pursuit, these forces bring you down in the name of Jesus Christ I declare right now I'm praying there are two ladies that will shout now under the anointing based on this prayer the moment that happens the power of God will begin to move to touch people this is what the Lord is telling me two ladies whose families and lives are victims of this in the name of Jesus the moment that happens the power of God will begin to set people free Two ladies, help them. Please bring them out. We are praying right now. Everyone under the sound of my voice, whose life and family are a victim of this manifestation of rising to a particular point and going down. Right now, I decree and declare. Be, be delivered in the name of Jesus. Be delivered in the name of Jesus. Be delivered in the name of Jesus.
I want to rebuke the spirit of delay. Now hear me. There are people here, you may not necessarily be victims of delay directly, but your, your pace of growth is too slow. What can be done in one month takes you 10 years. I don't mean to insult you, but there are some of you you've been building forever and it looks like the grace to finish is not there. I tell you, the, the fire of God will fall on many people based on this prayer. I'm about to pray and you will shout that name. That everything that has tied your life and destiny, bringing delay. You know that delay is at work in your life when the only thing that grows in your life is your age. Nothing else grows, only your age. You know that there is delay there. Therefore, I pray right now, my God, I sense fire even on my own hands. In the name of Jesus, at the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus. As you shout that name inside and outside, everyone who is a victim of that oppression, that demonic structure, will be liberated right now. I decree and declare against the spirit of delay, we come against you by the power that is in the blood of Jesus. At the count of three, shout Jesus. One, two, three, shout Jesus. Delay, be broken now. Help them, my God. Delay, be broken now. Over lives, over families, be broken now. Hallelujah. Many years ago, I used to have demon spirits come to oppress me. And because of the prophetic, I would see these spirits enter. I would shout in Jesus name, in Jesus name, and nothing would happen. Because the real miracle is not in the chanting of the name like a charm or a genie. Is in the revelation of it but the Lord is opening my eyes right now please look at me there are people you would have made maximum progress pay attention but you go back to bed and you are seeing yourself in secondary school you are seeing yourself in I want to put how it came what happened almost all of them had similar dreams maybe not exactly the same but similar they go to bed and someone comes to them with a syringe like a, a real syringe in a dream and injects them and tells them this is HIV are we together and they wake up and after a few months they begin to have physical symptoms they go to the hospital and they will tell you this thing is demonic and because of their fear to not be stigmatized they will not seek help and not say anything and keep quiet until it eats them up. I declare liberty. I declare liberty. There is a lady I'm praying for you by the spirit because i'm seeing that there seems to be this fraternity and this spiritual union with entities that anybody who comes and is considering you whether for marriage or whatever it looks like there is this something suddenly happens the jealousy and the manifestation of this spirit will completely abort that agenda in the name of jesus right now i'm praying Bring them out. Kaparato sheteketia. Sida bagata baruski atabadakata. Krato sheteketia. That's right. Mandika paruski kata. Ebreketo sida dabata. I decree and declare, whatever spirit is binding itself to you, in this false spiritual union, we break that relationship now. We break that relationship now. We break that relationship now. Yeah. 
there are whole families that are victims of this not just individuals i'm still praying i don't know why god is showing me women i know that this affects both men and women but i'm seeing women i'm still praying right now every embargo that has covered your glory and your face so that the good that should come to you does not arrive right now in the be delivered in the name of jesus be delivered in the name of jesus be delivered in the name of jesus hallelujah please look at me i want to pray a very serious prayer for you now and i want you to pay attention there is a mystery in the spirit called the book of remembrance the bible says in the book of esther that once upon a time a man who sat at the gate who was an uncle to the village girl that would later become queen over 127 provinces hadassah or esther the bible now says one time they conspired to kill the king ahasuerus and mordecai was privy to that information and he supplied that information and it preserved the life of the king but the king forgot him there are many of you here if your effort and your contribution to the life of others were to be rewarded you would never be where you are but in a strange way there seems to be a spirit that trails your progress you help the rising of many but it looks like you are forgotten i'm about to pray for you because something is coming on you listen 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 can i tell you this god does not forget but men can forget believe me when i tell you that the distance between you and your next level is one destiny helper away this is the world of men god uses men to lift god uses men to help the wine presser and the baker they were both helped by joseph and joseph made a plea and said i am in this prison but i am innocent i don't have the power to advocate my innocence please when you are reinstated use your influence to talk to the king the pharaoh for me that they should come and get me out of this place the one press i forgot him for two years one man's forgetfulness added two years of pain to another man but the bible says that night could not the king sleep and he said bring me the chronicles and when they opened it they found there they read it before him and he said who is in the chamber there Haman was there the arch enemy of the people of God he said what shall be done to a man who has done so and so I want to pray for you now when I came into this city I found out that over arguably 50 to 70 percent of the opportunities and the lifting of men in this city is purely by relationship even beyond competence relationships someone can stand by you and hold your hand and wipe your tears forever just because of relationship can i tell you this there are many competent people who cannot rise because the person to speak their praises to the kings is not there can i pray for you this is my assignment tonight many pastors have helped the rising of many and they've been forgotten they do ministry as if they are not called many business people participated in the lifting of others and were long forgotten many of you here you played major roles in the rising of people in this city and as it is no one seems to pay attention to you i want to pray grace on your life right now in the name of jesus christ the spirit 
that makes your helpers to forget you i decree and declare that spirit departs from your life now receive it it departs from your life now hear me this man standing before you is I am I am by the mercy of God the recipient of the remembrance of people who God used me to help and to lift at one point or the other believe me when I tell you when your helpers remember you one day can be equivalent to 10 years for you let me pray for you there are jobs here there are visions here that are the mercy of the grace of god to help us right now by the power of the prophetic for everyone who has been forgotten here leaving you in shame leaving you in pain i decree and declare let the book of remembrance be open for you now let the book of remembrance archiving your diligence archiving your honesty archiving your sincerity archiving your competence let it be open for your sake now there are people standing here right now whose documents are under the carpet in many offices i will do something about it and they sweep it under the carpet and leave it there sir have you considered i uh, will we'll do something and sweep it there in the name of jesus wherever it was swept to we bring it out to visibility we bring it out to visibility in the name of jesus christ We'll, we'll pray for the sick shortly but let me pray one more one more prayer it is possible for your helpers to come late life is a function of timing it is possible for your helper to come but then to come late the value of help is when it comes on time let me repeat it again the value of help is that it comes on time listen to me there are many people today if help came on time their loved ones will not be dead help came when they were buried and someone will say ah i didn't know the text you sent me the mail you sent me if i had seen it i would have supported i want to pray for you it's not enough to call for help help must come on time he says satisfy me early with your mercy in the name of jesus christ everywhere help has been ordained to come for you between november and the end of this year in the help them my god help them up the balcony there in the name that is above all names between november i'm saying it by prophecy i stand under this apostolic and prophetic grace may your help not escape december 2021 believe it believe it believe it may your help let it not escape december 2021 therefore i prophesy to the east I prophesy to the west I prophesy to the north and to the south wherever your help is I gravitate it towards your destiny I am the Lord that he led thee I am the Lord, your healer. 
I sent my word and it healed your disease. I am the Lord. One more time with faith in your heart. I am the Lord. That he let thee. I am the Lord. Your healer. I sent my word. And it healed your disease. Listen, the Bible says Jesus was speaking and he said, as my father has sent me, he said, even so send I you as my father sent me with the same mandate and the same backing, the same mandate and the same backing. My mission was to reveal the love of the father and to connect the world to the father so that they walk back in that dominion and they become envoys envoys advocates kings and priests now i send you but to do that you will need the equipping the backing of heaven so how god anointed jesus of nazareth when jesus came and stood up for to read luke chapter 4 says that it was given to him the scroll of isaiah and he found where it was written concerning him that the spirit of the lord is upon me for he hath anointed me to preach glad tidings to the meek he had sent me to bind up the brokenhearted to release to preach deliverance to them who are captive and recovery of sight and to set at liberty them that are bruised and then when he was done reading he said, the Bible says he closed the book and kept it and sat down and he said, this scripture is fulfilled in your eyes. The healing ministry is one of the cardinal ministries that reveal the love of Jesus. Why? Because the authorized means of remaining on the earth is that you must have a mortal body. Listen, this is the theology of healing. Healing is not merely just administering the power of God to a human body. It's an attempt by the Spirit of God to bring you to a point of health and vitality because the spirit of man or any spirit requires a certain health condition in a human body to be able to remain. When the body is broken and deteriorated, beyond a certain threshold the spirit will have to be separated from the body in an event we know and call death are we together now so every time you are sick it's like death knocking on your door would you give me a chance from a slight a sickness as headache pain whatever it is so when jesus comes to bring healing through his servants it is his commitment to preserve you in health and vitality so that you can have the body prepared for you to be able to do that which he has mandated you to do you're sick in your body now is the time for you to receive your healing i want you to lay your hand very quickly i truly believe in the healing ministry the last three months the lord has been speaking to me again that some of the manifestations of the power of God that we saw with the generals are fathers of blessed memory who have joined the cloud of witnesses today. Most of them moved marvelously in the 60s and the 70s across Europe, across the US, and even in Africa here. There were men and women. Most of them died living a prophetic word that a moment will come in the history of the church and in the future of the church where there will be a marvelous move of the spirit and young men and women will arise and there will be a restoration of that healing mantle can i tell you sincerely our generation has not really once if you are younger than respectfully speaking say 45 downwards or maybe 40 downwards that 
generation has not really witnessed the move of the spirit the healing ministry with power the way that most of our parents and our fathers would tell us sometimes you will hear the things that they would say and you would think they were exaggerations i've had the honor and the privilege of meeting a few people before they passed on who were marvelously used by god to change nations and my concern was not just impartation from them i wanted to ask them what were the prophetic words that you received and i can tell you this before jesus returns once again that water that pool will be stirred in a remarkable way believe me when i tell you this there's gonna be a great awakening there's gonna be a great revival in our land there's gonna be a great awakening and everyone who calls on Jesus I'm going to pray for the sick now but I want you to know know this for sure that the move of the spirit is coming and before we round up this service tonight I will pray I know that there may be one or two people here that God is already training you as part of that glorious that mighty army that will carry these end time mantles of healing for you you did not just come for a miracle service to receive you are still in the in, in, in God is still working on you be patient with him we are not just talking of healing in a service headache wheelchair thank God for that but men whose shadows like Peter will heal the sick I believe this with all my heart I believe this with all my heart that before Jesus comes believe me when I tell you there will be such a move of the spirit ordinary people men and women you have not seen them on TV yet nobody even knows them they may not be in active ministry yet no one is celebrating them the Lord is training them pruning them building them and when he's ready he will blow them like a shofar to the nations and i tell you africa and nigeria has a major prophetic role to play in taking back this healing anointing to the nations